What it is, guys, it's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at y'all with more Dokkan again. Uh, it's been a while since we talked about Dokkan, unfortunately, but not for lack of wanting to, just because my personal life's gotten a bit insane. But it's all for good purposes, guys. It's not anything personal, it's just sometimes our personal lives take precedent over the YouTube channel. It sucks. YouTube is my job, technically, but, you know, we got to take care of uh, family and friends first. So... Let's talk about the new free-to-play unit. I know he's been around for a minute, but I want to talk about the new e uh, EZA Frieza. And unfortunately, uh, I'll go ahead and go in here because I've been working on mine. Mine is not done yet, okay? But this unit is absolutely, wherever the hell he went, phenomenal. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I have to go Fizz and Extreme. Right here. Extreme Physical... Uh, basically version 2, Frieza, second form Frieza, words I couldn't think of at the time, okay? This unit is absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal. Do not fail to uh, to actually do this easy game and to get this unit farmed up. This unit is amazing, especially if you're a fan of the World Tournament, okay? Now, the only downside for me is he works on Transformation Boost, Planet Dynamic Saga, and Wicked Bloodline. That means... He doesn't really work on the teams that I build. That said, that there is a way I could still potentially utilize him. I've just got to work on my teams a little bit to get it going. But he does mass damage to all enemies. Uh, he does have an active skill. He does have a pretty good passive. But because he has an easy A, what we see here isn't really going to be of any real use to us. So let's go ahead and go into his easy A event and get all the details from there because... He gets crazy. He goes from mass damage to uh, supreme damage to all enemies. He's just a ridiculous monster. All right. So let's go down here a little bit. So after EZA, he become, his leader skill becomes transformation boost category. Key plus three. HP attack and defense 77%. Pretty decent leader for transformation boost. Physical type key plus three. HP attack and defense 50%. And that's all. That's all fizz. That's... Though, I'll be really not going to use that terribly often. And then, passive skill. Attack and defense, 60%. Key plus 6, plus an additional attack and defense, 40% when facing two or more enemies. Remember what I said? He's great for the tournament. Do the math on that. 6 key and 100% attack and uh, defense. Now, I will say, he isn't going to get... There, it, you're going to be really hard to fit him onto a World Tournament team. You're going to really have to build a very specialized team to do it. But, you know, being an AoE and being that much that he has to him is really going to be handy. Okay? Plus an additional attack 60% when target enemy is in defense down status. Now, if you can hit your foes with defense down... I'm trying to think if there's an AoE that does defense down... I don't remember, and I have to go back through all the uh, AoEs to remember if there's somebody that does that. So that basically means that he's going to get 160%. So he actually might not even need it, uh, because he's already going to have half the key. He's already, you know, and you put some good key support on there. There's some pretty good teams you can fit this guy on, and he may not necessarily need the support. You would just have to be really wise about how you use him. So, a really, really awesome unit. Now, his easy A... Uh, I haven't even attempted it. I'm going to be real. I have not attempted it, okay? So, you gotta, basically, to, to farm him up, he's like all the previous ones we've got. You get the first one, you get the orbs, uh, when you get the dupes, feed the dupes into the dupe system, you're going to get four more right off the bat just for that. Then, on top of that, you get another dupe per 10% you unlock. So, really, the only ones you need to farm are the ones to do him... Uh, between SA10 to SA15, uh, free to play. I'm, as I said, unfortunately, I'm not far enough along in that because of my schedule and all that stuff. But event details: Super SCR type and Extreme SCR type characters plus the Mechians. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Just use Super STR and you should be fine. Okay. Um, the really nice part about this, uh, the really nice part about this, is. I'm going to go ahead and just jump through with my 
very base team, and then we'll create a custom team for it. This base team shouldn't have any problems to start off with. Um, the really nice part is we are getting 30 Dragon Stones for doing the first 30 levels. Normally, with free to plays, you don't actually get that. So, and yes, I know this is not the optimal team, but follow me. Follow me here. We're going to go down this rabbit hole together. All right. First level is just hilarious. It's no big deal. So what I'm going to do is basically get a team going. Then we when we have a legacy team, we're going to build our main team. All right. Perfect. We got Dragonstone. We got some orbs. And we got our EZA medals. All right. And there are other missions for doing the EZAs. I just don't recall specifically what they are. But, you know, once again, if... Just what he does alone hasn't enticed you. I don't think there's a whole lot that I can do to change your mind at this juncture. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Are there any... Let's go to Namekians category. I don't think there's any Namekians that are even really worthwhile on here. Um, There's... I mean, I guess... I suppose... I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm just going to build a uh, STR team. Oh, no! Oh, well. That'd be fine. We'll build an STR team next time. Let's just get through this one real quick. So, basically, more or less, this was just kind of intended to be a gush piece. You know, reminding you, go run this event, go do your thing, and make sure that you farm this up. Because, once again, um, in talking to people around tournament time last time, I didn't realize how many people often just don't farm up free-to-play units and when a unit like this comes along it's a no-brainer i mean you got to you just have to he's so good okay no crit what can gogeta do gogeta not quite a mill not quite a mill attack stat but but i mean but a boom 1.49 and no crit so pretty straightforward stuff so if you have easy a gogeta i would say he's a fantastic fantastic unit to throw on this team so hopefully uh the one unit that i would say would be absolutely stellar for this team that i do not have is the uh super saiyan 4 vegeta so if you have him he'd be a really good leader um but because i don't i'm just you know it'd be a thing it just it's one of those little facts of life. You take the good, you take the bad, you take the both. There you have Sid Boo Sid, good dog. So, let's go ahead and build our team really quickly. Now, uh, I'm going to take him just because he's... Uh, that one's easy gate, so he'll be good. And then, since we've got all that done, we can go ahead and build a really absolutely killer team. All right? So, first things first, I am going to go ahead and grab, yep, let's grab Goku. Um, let's see, who are we going to grab? Uh, we'll grab him, he's stellar, he's really awesome. <clears throat> Basically, just build the most badass team we can. Uh, I, don't, I don't use him very much, we'll use him, and then of course Gogeta. So... This team should absolutely kick the crap out of this. Now, um, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just because I'm sure later on the tanking will come in handy. And yeah, that would be a pretty stellar team. Um, so hopefully, hopefully next turn we can find a Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta friend. But basically this team should easily, hopefully, easily get us through level 30. In fact, I'd be surprised if it didn't get us further on. All right. He's going to get really good boosts from rainbows, so we're going to do that, and that, and that. And I know I had other LRs I could have thrown on there and things like that, but... Remember, it's not always about throwing the most LRs on the team you can. You want to make sure your team is actually going to have a lot of key, and is going to be able to not is going to be able to produce the top end... Good! God, that was that's a brutal super attack. I don't think I've seen that super attack out of him before. Oof! Oof and a half! Mm. You want to make sure that you're going to be able to get reliable super attacks every single time. And if you throw a uh, an LR on there, you want them to have used supers. I know Trunks and I are great, 
but I'm not 100% confident I'm going to be able to get you supers out of them every time. And with the units I have on here, everybody else is pretty much rainbowed, so... Even if we don't get you supers, we'll still get crits and stuff like that constantly. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump along here to level 30, and we'll jump back in and see what's up at that point. Okay, so pretty much that team that I built has just been kicking the crap out of this event. Now, uh, I will say um, uh, Great Salmon 4 has not been the best addition to the team, but what he brings to the team support-wise has just been utter utterly worth it. So what we'll do here is we'll jump in. That was level 29. Let's jump at level 30, get our last ones here, and then go finish up the grind pretty much. But, and I'll bring a damage test on him a little bit later. I, I just really, I gotta really think about what I'm gonna do with this team because he doesn't really fit on any of the world tournament teams that I've built, but that's really kind of where he's gonna shine. So, same exact team, we're gonna use a Vegeta friend. Since I don't have him, oof. Not for lack of trying, though. Alright. Uh, this looks promising. Let's see here. No real, no rainbow orbs to speak of, really, though. Uh, we'll just do that. Yeah, and we'll just use him for support. So, here we go. So, we got 400k health, so we're not really worried about what happens here. And our units are laughing at it anyway, so... It's not really that big a deal. Okay. Now, Vegeta could have retaliated, but his retaliation is really low. Uh... Maybe Goku... I think Goku's the next rotation, I'm guessing? I don't know. I'm guessing. Uh, yes, Goku's next rotation. So Goku, maybe, will get one. I don't know. Alright, what's he gonna... What kind of damage is he gonna take here? 15k. So, he's still tanking pretty well. Uh, we got our Vegeta tank right here. I'm gonna use... Utilize him. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. And... Damn. RNG is just not in the mood. Alright, cool. Well, that's cool. Vegeta tanking is never a bad thing, so we'll just let him do what he does. And Goku is rainbowed, so maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll get a little something out of it. Okay. Um, go, Gohan. Gohan could do more. The thing is, Gohan's got to have a lot of rainbow orbs to really do anything worth a damn. He's not really supported the best on this team, but he's hit for a mill a few times. Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to pretend like that was the biggest hit in history, but it was definitely a hit I really didn't want to take. Oof. Alright, let's do this. Let's do that. I know I'm not giving any, any rainbow, but the rainbow is really hard to come by at the moment, so let's just see what we've got. That's the, I think it's the closest thing. He's probably dead anyway. I'm not sweating it. Clearly, I'm not sweating it. And, yeah, that's the thing. So, I know this team is rainbowed. I know not a lot of people are going to have everybody rainbowed on it. But, it just goes to show you the team can kick ass. So, basically build that team or something close to it, and you'll be able to take it on. A uh, good uh, strength team. Super strength is what I went with, but... Any strength apparently will work. Uh, apparently it's not per alignment, but yeah. Build a super strength team, anything like this, and you'll just wreck the event. Pretty straightforward. So that's going to be the video, guys. That's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like, now, like I said, I don't have mine done. And the one thing I will say, don't, don't feed this unit uh, Kai's, okay? I know you just got a ton of Kai's and a, a ton of uh, stones from there. But, real talk, farm him up. Like, just for real, it won't take you that long. Farm him up, and when you do the EZA, then feed in the farmed units as your extra SA5. Because, remember, all you got to do is have one up to SA5. Uh, and then you don't have to EZA that one. All you have to do is, is uh, Dokkan Awaken that one, and then feed him in. It's super simple. Super simple. So, basically... You're going to farm one up. Basically, you don't even have to farm them. You just get them, and then when you unlock everything in the potential system, you'll unlock a few more of him. I'll go ahead and go to the potential system now. As that's what I'm currently working on. And I don't have enough orbs, so I'm 
at a bit of an or orb deficit, so we've got to go, go do some more orb events to get the rest of him. But feed those orbs in. You're going to get just enough to SA-10 him. Or, uh, yeah, once he's SA-10, Dokkan Awaken and Easy A him. Get a second one to SA-5 and feed that one in a super attack. You'll be good to go. That's going to be the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like I said, the big deal is just don't sleep on this. Because last time I worked on someone's uh, teams, it was kind of one of those... We'd slept on a ton of really awesome free-to-play units. So, an AoE free-to-play is not something you want to sleep on. Absolutely not. So, that's the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow my Birdman. Hit me up a Booker. Be uh, back at you guys here with more Doka Battle soon. Lay your asses out. About that time.